Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you've all had a wonderful, blessed Monday. Um, I've been super blessed because I'm off on Mondays. I work 410, so I love it. Love that schedule. Love that I can stay home, have an additional day to my weekend. So I don't ever have to go to work on a Monday. Um, <clears throat> today, I decided to get together a video uh, for something that I'm asked, that I get asked to make uh, for recipes for a lot. Um, I make salsa. And every time I make it, if I take it to a family function or wherever, church function, whatever, I'm always asked for the recipe. So it is super, super easy. I've been making this salsa for, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 years. Um, and super easy, but it, it's different. It has a little bit of a different taste and texture than most salsas. It is not a thick, chunky tomato, onion, huge chunks salsa. It is more of a puree like you would find at a Mexican restaurant. So this is my take on the salsa. And the reason I came across this recipe initially was I am a lover of Chili's salsa. Anytime we go over there, me and the kids, we go over there and we always get the salsa because it's so delicious. So I went on the quest to look for a copycat recipe of it. And unfortunately, <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't able to find exactly what I wanted. And so I did find a couple recipes and I've tweaked the recipe over the years to make it what I like and what my family likes. Um, it is, like I said, a little bit different. It's tangy, it has vinegar in it, and it has salt. So just know if you are restricted for salt intake, or you don't like a lot of salt, you can back off on the salt or the vinegar in this recipe. I would not totally eliminate the vinegar because the vinegar to me is what gives it that, that tang, that just that little something that's different than everybody else's salsa that's out there. So <clears throat> I would love for you guys to make it, tweak it, put, put your own spin on it and let me know how it turned out and let me know if any suggestions you may have for me that I can try because I am always looking to try anything new that I can. So I am going to put my apron on and then I'm going to get my ingredients out here and let you guys see what uh, it takes to make it and we're going to make some salsa. Okay guys so here is our list and like I said it is very simple ingredients. It's not a heavy ingredient list here. I've got a large can of the uh, diced tomatoes with the juice. I've got a bunch of cilantro. I have red onion that I've already diced and that, <clears throat> that will, there will be a side note on that. I also have two jalapenos. I keep the seeds. I like it hot. I also have a teaspoon of salt, a half of a teaspoon of sugar, a tablespoon and a half of vinegar, and I also have a teaspoon of cumin and one clove of garlic. And I used the garlic that comes in the jar that's already minced. I am all about convenient and I love it. Very, very convenient. These items are you know, not real expensive, easily accessible at your grocery store, and of course you're going to need <clears throat> a food processor for this. Now, if you do not have a food processor, you probably could make this in a blender. I have never made it in a blender, but I don't think that it would be a problem as long as maybe you put your peppers on the bottom so that they get, you know, churned first. So, I, you know, you may not have to have a food processor, but I do. And I use my food processor quite regular. So I am going to turn this camera around and um, get you guys uh, to see how we get all this going. Okay, guys, as a side note, let me just say, if you noticed in my ingredients listing, you saw that the onion, the red onion, was already um, chopped. I do not put my onion in my food processor when I'm making my salsa. And the reason I do that is because when I've made it before and included the onion within the food processor, those oils and all tend to get into the food and kind of overpowers the flavor. And so these onions, 
that I chopped up, I will not even puree in the food processor. I will actually set those to the side. And once I've got everything mixed in, I will just incorporate the onions. I'll just stir those in and incorporate those that way. Um, but that's just maybe, you know, a little a little side note that you might want to, you know, make make note of that it can overpower, especially red onion. You know, red onion is a very, very strong onion. You don't have to use red onion. I just prefer it. But you can use a white onion, Vidalia, whatever onions you like. The jalapenos. I've used two jalapenos and I did not de-seed them. You do not have to use that many jalapenos in your recipe. If you do not like hot food, then use one jalapeno that's been seeded. Um, if you like it hotter, put more. Uh, I love... I love spice, so I don't want it so hot that you can't eat it, but I think two fresh jalapenos that are not seeded are perfect for this salsa. Also, the cilantro. You're not going to use that whole bunch of cilantro. I love cilantro. I know a lot of people do not. Um, it's one of those things, either you love it or you hate it. I happen to love it. Uh, I can't imagine having salsa without cilantro in it. So what I do is I take two liberal handfuls, and you'll see as I'm making it that I put a good deal of cilantro in mine. You do not have to. If you don't like it, leave it out. Like I said, this is kind of something that you can tweak to your taste that you like. So here we go. We're going to start making some salsa. Okay, guys, I am still trying to figure out my camera angles and stuff. This is all brand new stuff to me, so I am apologize if this is difficult to see. Um, I'm hoping to get something that's going to help me do this better, but uh, for right now, we just have to kind of go with what we've got, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jalapenos first, and I'm going to put those in the food processor first because I kind of want those to... I want the blades to kind of snatch those first so that they get really good and um, chopped up because I don't like huge chunks of jalapeno in my uh, salsa. Next is my can of tomatoes. I'm going to take that. If I can get this lid, lid open. Yep. I'm going to take this can of tomatoes and I'm going to dump the whole thing, juice and all, in the food processor. Next, I like to go ahead and put in my uh, my salt. Remember, it's a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of sugar. Like I said, you can back off the salt. Also, a tablespoon and a half of white vinegar. I also have a teaspoon of cumin and fresh garlic in here. Get that in there. You can add more cumin if you like. Some people like, you know, the cumin tastes really, really good. All right, and then last, I'm going to take my bunch of cilantro, and I'm just going to grab one handful, two handfuls, eh, Let's do three, three handfuls. And that's it, guys. See, see how pretty that is in the bowl? See how pretty it is in the, gosh, if you can see it. See how pretty and vibrant that is. I just love the way it looks before it even cooks. So I'm going to um, cut my food processor on, put my lid on. And I got this food processor uh, last Christmas. Um, it's a KitchenAid, and it's, I love it. Um, I love kitchen gadgets, though, so David, my husband, knows if he wants to make me happy, all he's got to do is give me a kitchen gadget for, or a household gadget. You know, I've heard women, some women say they don't want um, household goods for gifts. I love, love getting stuff like that. Anything that makes my life easier, it makes my cleaning task easier, it makes my cooking life easier. I am all about that. So, uh, I am going to pulse this for a few, I don't know, 
20 seconds or so until it gets really pureed. And uh, I'm going to do that now. It's going to be loud. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. Take our lid off here. Take a look at it. I want you guys to see it too. See how pureed that is? This is, you know, it's 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 liquidy. It's not a thick, chunky. But you can look. I mean, you can see all those beautiful chunks of jalapeno in there, the cilantro, the tomato. It's just, y'all, it just smells so good. I wish I could smell it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little taste to make sure that I don't need to add anything. So let's give it a little taste. Mmm. Y'all, that's perfect. Now it's got some heat. Don't get me wrong, it's got some heat. Um, if you don't like spicy, do not put the two jalapenos with the seeds in it because it is spicy. And remember this, as it sits in the refrigerator, it will get even more spicy. So, if you don't like spicy, just do one jalapeno seeded. Take the seeds out because you know that's where the heat is and then the seed. But the salt level on here and the vinegar level on here is perfect. Guys, I know it's weird putting vinegar in a salsa, but try it. I promise you will like it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour this up and then I'm going to incorporate my onion. So I'm going to get a bowl real quick to pour this into. Should have already had this done. Sorry. You know, like I said, I'm still, I'm still new at all this, y'all. This uh, whole video cooking thing is, <laughs> it's kind of weird, kind of strange, but I do enjoy it. I do enjoy cooking so much. I love sharing with other people recipes and stuff. My recipes are not anything extraordinary. There's nothing special about them. Most of you probably make the same things that I make, and you probably make them in the same way, but if you don't, that's great. And if you want to share some of your recipes with me, I would love that because I am always looking for um, new recipes to try. So, all right, I'm going to take this off and get my get my um, blade out of here, y'all. Which can be trying sometimes. Get that blade off of there. All right, so guys, I'm going to pour, pour this sauce up. I mean, look, look how liquidy it is. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, that is a beautiful, beautiful. Okay. All right, here's my onions. These beautiful red onions. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna stir that in. Like I said, I do not like to puree it with it already in there because it overpowers the taste. This needs to sit at least a few hours, guys. Don't need it right off the bat because it is, does not get its um, wonderfulness until, until you've put it in the refrigerator for at least, I would say, two hours. Um, I usually make mine ahead of time. We're having quesadillas this week kids one of my favorite things that the kids love um so i'm gonna have chips and salsa with the quesadillas but um so i'm making it today um so i would love to hear your feedback on this guys and love to know if you liked it or not so give me a buzz and like i said i hope all of you have a very blessed monday hey the weekend will be here for you know it uh and i'll talk to you guys later